any of the digital asset markets this year, they're just beautiful accumulation charts, higher highs, higher lows. There's volatility. And there was that period, and it was almost five months, where we were flat. You know, we kind of had the big run in Q1, and then we kind of went flat through the summer. But, you know, since October and uh, moon November, it's just been, it's been crazy. The cycle that starts in 2024, you can't stop that. It's coming. January 1st, 2024 is coming. And the next four years are going to be a truly parabolic, exponential increase. After tumbling 65% in 2022, Bitcoin has been a monumental winner this year. The world's leading digital asset has skyrocketed about 160% in 2023, a gain that beats the stock market's gains by a considerable margin. Mark Yesko, the CEO of Morgan Creek Capital, offered an update on the crypto market and Bitcoin's trajectory. His insights shed light on BlackRock's impending Bitcoin ETF approval, a move poised to channel massive capital into the crypto sphere. As 2023 draws to a close, the cryptocurrency realm witnessed significant efforts in regulatory cleanup both in the United States and worldwide. The leading cryptocurrency has marked an impressive journey this year, starting around $16,500 on January 1st and soaring to nearly $45,000. Following the October surge and the frenzy in November, the market has been a roller coaster. However, Yesco emphasizes that this is just the beginning, an exciting phase that hasn't fully unfolded. This year it marked a turning point for institutional readiness. While multiple events point to potentially favorable conditions for crypto in the upcoming year, it is also critical to understand how crypto's brief and volatile history has led to better, more durable options for investors. As we approach 2024, numerous bullish indicators are lining up for Bitcoin. Among these, the awaited approval of the ETF by the SEC in January stands prominent. Additionally, a scheduled having event in April adds to the anticipated positive signals for the cryptocurrency. Drawing parallels from historical cycles, Yesco remains resolute about the forthcoming cycle starting in 2024. Now, let's focus on the video to explore more. Before we get started, subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon for the latest updates. This year, 23, up only, baby. I mean, it has been up only. It doesn't feel like up only, it really, it's interesting. It doesn't yeah. feel that way. And it's because the down cycle was so brutal. It actually wasn't as brutal from a dollars and cents perspective, but from a just bashing the media, the, the piling on of the bad people doing bad stuff and Hurricane Sam and all that stuff. But really interesting, you look at, any of the digital asset markets this year, they're just beautiful accumulation charts, higher highs, higher lows. There's volatility. And there was that period, and it was almost five months where we were flat. You know, we kind of had the big run in Q1, and then we kind of went flat through the summer. But, you know, since October and uh, moon November, it's just been, it's been crazy. And yeah. And, and, and yet, we haven't even started. See, this is what's so amazing. And, you know, if, if you were going to give me an adjective, it would be ebullient. I, I have not been this excited <laughs> in a long time. I mean. Yeah, that's how and, I feel too. And it's funny because I should not be excited. I mean, I was just, had, I was just on I just did a call with Dan Moorhead and, and we were lamenting the fact that, holy crap, this is the hardest year and we're old, right? We've been around a long time. We've been friends for 30 years. And this is the hardest environment to fundraise we have ever seen. And, and look, I am incredibly grateful. We have two incredible anchor tenants that, that are helping us launch our fourth fund. But beyond that, it's hard to get meetings. I take crap from, you know, all sides about, you know, so I get the, geez, it's been a tough two years. It has in, in doing and building and, you know, 
building a media company focused on this space. I mean, I know what you and Yano and, and the rest of the crew have, have gone through. And, you know, putting out positive energy content in a world of negative energy, that sucks, right? It's hard. So I get that part. Um, but man, I, I just look at the confluence of things that are happening and yeah, there could be some negative surprise and, and, you know, then they fight you could get really ugly, but the cycle that starts in 2024, you can't stop that. It's coming. January 1st, 2024 is coming. And the next four years are going to be a truly parabolic, exponential increase in technology adoption, application development. And you go back and just, just look at all the precedents. Go back and look at 54 to 58. Go back and look at 68 to 72. Go back and look at 82 to 86. Go back and look at 96 to 2000. Go back and look at 2010 to 14. There's nothing you can do to stop it. According to Yesco, the third year of the presidential cycle tends to be robust as those in power aim to solidify their positions by enacting policies and applying pressure on the central bank to support their agendas. The near-term projection for U.S. stock index futures appears bearish, with uncertainty looming over the Federal Reserve's forthcoming actions. Interestingly, despite numerous regulations imposed by the U.S. SEC, the cryptocurrency landscape has witnessed widespread acceptance across nations globally. Notably, significant financial institutions have embraced crypto, setting the stage for a potential surge in mass adoption in 2024. Yesco emphasizes that with technology's growing influence in the overall market, we've surpassed the unsustainable highs witnessed in 2000. Now, let's shift our focus to a video. In November 6, they they passed the futures ETF and it's been straight down, you know, after that. And so, I don't think there's that type of catalyst for equities, but you know, if I look at the 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 multiple on NASDAQ and the multiple on the S&P, they're not sustainable. If I look at the fact that all the macroeconomic indicators are, are heading for the hard deck, I mean, I watched Maverick again twice last weekend. I love that movie. And um, whenever my wife's gone, I just watch the movie. And uh, cause she didn't, she didn't want to watch it again, but, um, and I watched it for the fight scenes, but it's, I mean, flight scenes, but it, um, you know, when they're doing that Cobra move, going for the hard deck, it's it's just crazy. And you look at PMIs, you look at uh, the jolts, I mean, the job openings. Holy moly! I mean, it's 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 straight down. And so, again, not predicting recession, not saying we're going to fall off a cliff, but those are not expansionary type numbers. And I do think there's there's a little bit of reckoning. Throw on top of that the uh, normal kind of uh, the third year of the presidential cycle is always the best year, right? There's a four year cycle, follows presidential elections. The third year is when the incumbents are trying to stay in power. So they pass a bunch of stuff and do a bunch of stuff and bang on the central bank and it is not a coincidence that Jerome Powell two weeks ago came out and said, yeah, I'm probably cutting next year. That is not a coincidence. That You go back in, in history, every third year that happens because they say we're going we're gonna to be accommodative because we like to get reappointed. And so I, I, I look at a couple things. One, the weighting of technology as a percentage of the overall market, we just surpassed the all-time high in 2000. That was unsustainable. This one is too. And big tech, you know, the Magnificent Seven, are at, at valuation levels that, that just don't make any sense. And it doesn't mean, so it doesn't mean they can't go higher, but I don't think they will. I mean, personally, I, I think year four, uh, presidential cycle is pretty muted year, you know, three, 4%. So, you know, I think that's 
probably a, a, a good estimate for next year. Um, most people think it's going to be business usual. I, I always love the, the estimates are always, it's going to be up eight to 12%. Like always, that's what they always say. And then, you know, sometimes they're too bullish, sometimes they're too bearish, but they're always saying eight to 12. Uh, the fact that we're up 20 in the third year, that's actually about average for a third year, 16 to 20. So maybe a little above average. So maybe next year has to be a little below average. So maybe it's closer to flat. Um, that'd be my estimate. Crypto markets are gearing up for a considerable change, anticipating a surge in institutional investment. The long-awaited spot Bitcoin ETF launch is just around the corner, throwing the cryptocurrency market into a fever pitch of anticipation and strategic planning. According to digital asset trading firm QCP Capital, the moment of truth could arrive as early as the market closes on January 5th, 2024, or between January 8th and 10th. This concludes our discussion for today. Feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section below. If you found this content informative, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for the latest updates. Thank you for being here with us.